XRP potentially printing a very, very unique golden cross. We're going to talk about it in this video. Bitcoin's doing the same thing. If you guys never heard about golden crosses, don't worry. We're going to cover it in this video. And uh, if you have, stick around because this could be exciting. When looking at XRP, you have to be excited given where we've come just in the last couple months and knowing what is on the table for the future should fire you up as an XRP investor. And uh, well, yeah, let's dive into it because XRP could just be gearing up for the next big push. Right now, still consolidating. It's been very, very slow and sideways action right now, but that's good considering where we could be heading given this golden cross. Now, it is just one indicator, right? It's one e expert's opinion, but Bitcoin, of course, the largest crypto, has printed a golden cross on its three-day charts. XRP, the fourth largest crypto, has also been observed to have triggered this type of golden cross on its three-day chart as well. So that's the XRP chart you're looking at right there, okay? We're sitting at about 70 cents. We've just consolidated. This is actually... Uh, a really zoomed out view here of XRP, right? Looking at where we came from 2017, all the way down there below one cent, okay? And we're currently sitting right there at 70 cents. We know the all-time high came back here, uh, you know, way back a few years ago, uh, multiple years ago now, uh, where we, you know, topped out at a little bit over uh, $3, okay? So, in looking at this, uh, a golden cross is a chart pattern that occurs when a very short-term moving average crosses above a longer-term time frame. The golden cross implies the prospect for a long-term bull market emerging, as long-term indicators often carry more weight, right? Uh, anytime we zoom out on the chart, we can learn more uh, about the you know asset holistically. High trading volumes tend to strengthen this indicator as well. XRP has had that reg uh, recently. Now, some analysts refer to golden crosses as lagging indicators, implying that the data required to create the pattern has already happened. Though the golden cross may indicate a long-term bull market going forward, the truth remains that no indicator can truly predict the future. TA is just a tool, right? There are times where golden crosses are produced that, you know, it's a, it's a false signal. It, it doesn't manifest itself into this major, major bull run. However, it's happened the other way too, where golden crosses have been inked and printed and it plays out. Now, this is, again, a long-term catalyst for XRP. Let's take a look at the price of XRP right now. Uh, I was taking a look at the price of some other assets here. But XRP, uh, right now, you could see uh, on a little bit of a downtrend right now. Uh, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see what's going on here. Uh, let me move this over. And you could see, let me make my window a little smaller. This is the one-day view here for XRP. Seven-day, you can see kind of where we've been trending. If we go over to the seven day, we've been trending downwards here, 67 cents. The good thing is, right now, we need a close above 68 cents. Okay. That is what we really need. Let me pull this over a little bit so you can see. That is the big pop that we had back in late July. Now, the interesting is, interesting thing is we broke that 68 cent barrier. We're sitting at 67 cents. We need to close above that today. We need to get back up to that 68 cent mark. And uh, if not, we could be looking for a little bit of downside here in the short term, okay? Because $0.68 cents was our immediate uh, resistance here in the short term. Now, if we look at uh, where we kind of have been here in the last 24 hours, okay, we could see that uh, in the last 24 hours, you know, volume is up, but a lot of that is selling pressure. Uh, let me take you over on this side of the chart here. A lot of that is selling pressure here for XRP. You can see there's the volume up, still $1.4 billion of volume. However, again, a lot of that has been selling pressure, downward pressure on the chart. So could we be getting ready for a little bit of a further correction for XRP? Potentially. Now, on the daily chart, we are bouncing back up. We're trying to get back up to that $0.68 cent mark. We need to. We need to close above that in order to kind of stay in this consolidation range. We'll be watching that very closely here today to see if we can close back up above 68 cents. That's going to be something really, really important to watch. We did so yesterday, okay, just barely. If we look at it, you know, like 12 o'clock last night, uh, excuse me, 
11.45 p.m. We were still at 68 cents, and then we broke through it to start the day here today, which was not good. Now, if we get back over 68 cents and we close, we're okay. Okay, we just continue to consolidate there on that look on that look right there. Otherwise, you know, we could have a little bit of a falling knife here and head back into the 55 cent range pretty easily uh, if if we don't capture that 68 cent mark again. So we'll be tracking it. We'll be watching it very closely here today. But again, holistically, Golden Cross appearing. This could be a longer term bullish run here for XRP. Again, one indicator, right? It's not the whole story, but it is a positive piece here that we're watching as well when we really zoom out on the XRP chart. That's what I've got for you guys on the latest XRP price action. Appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next video.